They say it's a grueling sport. It takes a lot of mental and physical uh, strength, and I still have a lot in me, and that's why I'm here. Too. That's why I'm here. The preparation going, you know, beefing up per se to 154. You know, what did you change in, you know, in, in, in your resume? You know, going into the training camp, what did you, you know? We sparred bigger guys. We sparred 160, guys. 168, oh, 170. I think guys were like 170, 6'1. I was sparring tall, strong guys, young guys too, 23 years old. Who, when you're 23 years old, you're hitting as hard as you can hit. So definitely that um, conditioning. We did conditioning after sparring. So usually we, we do condition on different days, but I, I wanted to feel tired to push myself. We did condition at the spar, so we switched a lot of things up. You know, you're not shy away from ad adversary. You know, you're only three against big names. They're controversial uh, for some fights. Uh, do you believe that this fight or against Vers Jose Benavides, do you believe you need a knockout to make a statement to make sure you tell everybody, hey, I'm in the map now, I'm back, I'm the one before. A knockout, a knockout will be great. A knockout will be great. We want the knockout. I know I can knock him out, but I'll be happy to win. Are you still predicting under seven? Yeah, we want under seven. We want under seven. Seven's a lucky number. So. <laughs> Danny, thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Champ, real quick, you have a mic on you? Danny, no. Chance? No. Thank you so much. Uh, Danny, um, do you feel like you're more comfortable at this weight at 154 pounds? Yeah, I'm already on weight. I feel good. Now, you know, they're talking about the size difference, but there's only an inch in height. Uh, yeah. <laughs> are you going to surprise him with uh, how strong you really are? Yeah, definitely. You see, uh, People think I'm naturally a small guy, but I'm I'm a I'm big. You know what I mean? So they're gonna say I'm like a little fullback. <laughs> and uh, speaking about the speaking about the um you know the layoff, um, yeah. do you feel um, they're overlooking your precision and accuracy? Um, you know, instead well, of you throwing a lot of punches. I, I, don't, I don't think the layoff is gonna be a big issue because we trained hard, we sparred hard, we start we sparred more rounds. We started sparring early because of that. So we made a lot. We made a lot up from the missed time, you know what I'm saying? Plus, my head was always in the game. I'm always shadow boxing, I'm always jogging, I'm always watching boxing. So if, you, if your head's in the game, like if you completely separate yourself from boxing, like don't watch it, don't do nothing, get fat, then you come back, that's, the, that's a bad layoff. But like, my head was always in the game, I was always jogging, working out, so I don't think it's gonna be affecting at all. Now, if you get the win over Benavides, do you feel the boxing world would use the leg injury as an excuse, the past leg injury as an excuse on why he lost? I don't know. I don't know. He looks healthy. He's walking good to me, so I really can't. I, I can see he had like crutches or something. But <laughs> does the um, the, 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 good to me. Does, the, does the back and forth with Andrew and um and Garth and um yeah. and Jose does it kind of fire you up, man? Just letting him get in his head. That's it. Pops just crazy. I can't. You know what I'm saying. I mean, I'm pretty sure you broke down like film on him. Like, are you impressed by like, like anything he does? A good jab, a good hook. No, he got good. Body? Um, I thought he had longer reach. Like looking at his arms, it's not that long. It's like a little bit longer than mine. But he's a tough guy. He's gonna come to fight. I know he's gonna come to fight. So he's got to be prepared for whatever. I mean, you fought all types of guys: short guys, big guys. Um, the fighting a, a slightly taller guy is, is that a little bit, um, a little bit more difficult to do in your opinion? Not really, because short guys come come to you like you got to keep them off you. So like fighting guys like Matisse and stuff like that, that's hard to do because they're strong and they, they keep they, they get under you. But when you fight tall guys, you can just kind of like I'm saying, use your jab, walk in, use your feet, touch them to the body. Same thing. You know, for whatever reason, Jose keeps talking about he's gonna stop you. Um, I don't know. I think you might have the best chin in all the boxing. Yeah. You fought a whole bunch of big hitters. Is Matisse still the, the heaviest hitter you ever fought? Yeah, definitely. He's definitely the hardest hitter. Uh, more than Spence and more than Thurman. Thermal will be second. Wow, more Thermal. than Spence. Yeah, Thermal. Spence is not like a one-punch knockout fighter. He's the type of fighter he'll break you down with consistency and then knock you out. I think that's why he knocked his opponents out so ugly. Kind of like what he did to Ugas. He broke him down, but didn't knock him out, but stopped him. That's the type of fighter Spence is. Danny, talking about that, um, we know there'd be a lot of obstacles making big fights with Spence and Comfort. Say that um, Spence turned his attention to Thurman. Who would you pull for in that one? Oh, Spence and Thurman? Yeah. Right now? I mean, go with Spence. If the Crawford doesn't get mad. Right now, I'll go with Spence. Why? Uh, I just feel like he's uh, better at this point of his career. But if we talk in 2017, I might go with Thurman. Because that Thurman was... He still shows flashes of greatness, but like in his last fight, he looked good. He did good for a long layoff. But I think Spence right now is just uh, on a different level than him, like mentally.
Hey, Danny, just, just, in your, just in your view, um, I know it's kind of hard to not be biased because I know you guys are really close, but do you think a guy like Booth is ready for Spence and um, Crawford right now? I think now? he's ready for Yeah, he's ready for everyone. Would you favor him in those matchups, or is it kind of like 50-50 with both guys? Man, that kid's young and hungry, and he, I wouldn't... I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't pick against him against nobody right now. Does he kind of remind you of yourself, man? Definitely. He got that Philly mentality. He got his dad behind him. And he's just young. He's hungry. He's a hard-working kid, too. Like, put that work in him. He, he believes in himself. So, it's hard to go against somebody like that. I'm not sure if you know this, but um, your boy, um, Chris, was just going back and forth with uh, Gary Russell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How do you think, is, is that a fight that you kind of want to see in Justin? I think it's a great fight. I think it's a great fight for both of them. Gotcha. It's a great fight. Danny, thank you.